I say welcome back this all about Tano Kali Y254 kama kawaida happening every Friday from 6 pm to 8 pm I go by the name the lyrical DJ kwa mtandao kijamii unapata kama at DJ Sweet K na leo pia nimekuwa na DJ ambaye anaitwa Jerry Jo nitakuwa nazungumza naye Okay last scene kwa site nilikuwa na msanii wa Cool Mark lakini again niko na msanii mwingine anaitwa Sly Shy Sijui kwa nini lakini nimesikia upande wa taekwondo hatari sana. Kwa sasa tuzungumze naye, aji introduce. Wacha nisimpake mafuta sana kwa sababu anajielewa zaidi. So talk to our people slice shy. Welcome. How do you introduce yourself to the people when you meet them just the way you've met people Tano Kali watching the show right now at home? Ah, uh, my name is Slice Shy. Ah, uh, aka the one. Allah. Staki kujua. Those are my names. Nini utaki kujua? Vitu mingi tu. Slashai? Yeah. Naona shuleni tukua tunambiwa kuna mtu na miraba minne. Na nakuona na miraba minne. Alafu ni mepitia kwa nitandawa kijamini kaona. We unapiga sana taikondo. Tukiachana na mziki ambao tunakuja kuzungumzia right now and right away. Nigependa kwanza tuzungumzie your side hustle ya taikondo. Uh, taekwondo nafanya taekwondo uh, mimi ni fourth dan fourth degree sasa hiyo ndo mimi hata sikielewi kabisa ndio <laughs> umenipoteza inamaanisha like a degree certificate the first one mm -hmm. second third and fourth so i'm the fourth degree fourth dan so unajua na cameraman wangu hapa anaitwa Nicolas so, yeye yako first degree ama ni zero la uh, one and a half sababu so, ana kitambi ah uh, kama kwa fourth degree inamaanisha umeshapoteza kila kitu a uh, fourth degree na maanisha umepanda umesoma masters mm -hmm. at least now you are the master kama mimi yeah i see um let's now get to slice shy slice shy na maanisha nini kwanza shy mimi najua mtu shy kidogo shy kama kawaida ni aibu slice is just secret doing slice shy na maanisha aibu ya kisiri siri uh, ala ati can, can you do that again on the camera a uh, slice shy a uh, simple meaning ni aibu ya kisiri siri. Ndio gani hiyo? Nilipewa tu na mwalimu wangu mimi. So hata ujui maana yake? Najua maana ndo maana yake nasema ni aibu ya kisiri. Aibu ya kisiri. Yes, aibu gani ya kisiri ambayo mwalimu wako alikuwa nayo ama wewe ulikuwa nayo na mwalimu wako? Ah uh, kuna Mwesi siku nilikuwa nili, nili mtu athletic mimi sana. Wow. So kuna mwalimu alikuwa amekuja shule mgeni hivi mm -hmm. laftu tulikuwa na performance hizi za kawaida school entertainment mm -hmm. so nilipanda stage nikaangusha mistari kweli vile nitoka stage ndio akanambia eh hey, na wewe unaonekana mtu shy lakini kumbe ni kisiri siri tu mm -hmm. so i tried to connect mm -hmm. now in english so nikajita slice shy na ikaanza hivyo na ikakuwa laftu siku hizi imeongezeka the one na hivyo ndio nitoka athletics so slide slice shy pole pole hadi kwa music yeah. when did you start music Uh, I started music when I was young. When I was at the age of around seven, we used to rap to cure our dog. Hey bro, uh, when well, cool kid nini? Hapana, a si cool kid. Uh -huh. I was born in the ghetto. Mimi ni ghetto boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, mtaa yetu sana ilikuwa na wasanii wengi sana. Like watu kama kina Alan Aaron, tume grow now. Mm -hmm. uh, wase wengi wa muziki. Mm -hmm. Kina Osman Kaosha isikia jamaa anaitwa Osman alikuwa anaimba sana na nakuru. Yeah. Hawa ni wetu tulikuwa tuna rap nao kitambo tukiwa dogo. Mbaka saa hizi sasa. Okay. Yeah. When you talk about your musical journey umefanya na kina Osman na akina Alan Aaron. Nakumbuka back then Alan Aaron anakuja na muziki ya Wimderu ilikuwa yeah. ni gospel music. Yeah. All right now when you talk about the challenge in between secular music and gospel music mbona hukufanya gospel kwa sababu tunaelewa mazingira ya Kiafrika wazazi mara mingi wanapenda watoto wakue right na wanasemaga secular music ni uhuni uh, mimi kwa mziki nafanya kitu inaitwa genge safi genge safi mm -hmm. iko pia na gospel kwa sababu gospel kuandika gospel si ati ni mimi unajua mimi nikiandika music ninajua ni Mungu amenitumia hiyo kitu maana yake genge safi ni any music that can teach the society So gospel pia nimeziandika ni vile sija record gospel yote kwa saa hizi lakini nimeziandika kwa wingi sana. Yeah. Genge ton. Genge 
from jua kali ya nonini ile wakati wa kali records wakati wa ugopa DJs then kuna gengeton akina epic sailors na wasanii wa kizazi kipya so yako ni genge safi genge safi Pena. yangu ni ile genge ukiketi chini uisikilize kiundani lazima iko na maana lazima inafunza Asi, si lazima kitu ikuwe gospel ndo ikuwe inafunza. Ana ana slide shy. Naona mbona uko shy. Anyway, let's talk about now the general um, um, uh, career ya mziki. Where do you see yourself uh, kutoka pale ulianzia na hadi ulipokufikia? Je, mziki unalipa? Ukizungumza na kijana ambaye anatazama show right now. Uh, mziki unalipa? Mm-hmm. Tumeona wengi wameinuka kwa mziki. Mm-hmm. Na mziki unalipa ukiamua kufanya mziki. Unaona? Alafu kuna ile time to huwa tunasema God's time. Kwa sababu mziki enye inalipa lakini inaweza kukuweka underground pia kwa miaka mingi. So the good thing, usi give up. One day itakuli. Yeah. Kwa msanyo mbea mekua hapa tukua na zungunza na ito cool mark the king. Ama the king. Amesema kuwa, uh, ya na believe kuwa mziki ni lazima uwe na pesa na anasema hard work beat talent pia ni kauli the same na wewe ama wewe experience yako iko tofauti uh, mziki mm-hmm. si lazima uwe na pesa mm-hmm. one unaweza kuwa na talent na mtu akakuona mahali kama ukiperform na akakusaidia unaona amekusaidia na pesa zake mm-hmm. mpaka unakuja kuwika unaanza kupata pesa zako mm-hmm. lakini pia kama mimi msanii lazima nijitume nifanye kazi huko nje nipate pesa like recording ni pesa nyingi uh, video kufanya uh, quality video you need a lot of money so lazima ujitume na kwa kujituma pia unaweza kutana na watu wengine wale wazuri wenye wako ready to support kwa sababu pia si watu wote wazuri tumeona pia wasanii wengi wakilia kwa media vile wanafanywa mabaya huko nje yeah do you think there's enough support of Kenyan music from mashabiki wako wanakusupport kiasi ambacho unaona uko sawa ama unaona bado kuna tashwishi do you think there's enough support from mashabiki ambao wanatazama show right now uh, mashabiki wanatusupport unajua ukienda kama ukiaka kitu kama pale kwa youtube na wana watch wana subscribe that means they are supporting you fully mm-hmm. so naweza sema mashabiki wanatusupport yeah Yes, and it was like shy. Let's talk about your journey, musical journey. Tutarajie nini kutoka kwa slice shy in the next uh, maybe two years. Projects gani tunasubiria? Labda tungoje too much of uh, ama more of taekwondo projects ama more of the musical projects. Alafu the second question ningependa kujua, kati ya music right now unafanya muziki tumejuana kwa kwa muda kidogo na taekwondo. What kitu gani ina, ina, ina kuwekea chakula mezani? Ah uh, nijibu ya uh, swali ya kwanza mm-hmm. in two years time mm-hmm. uh, naji prepare nataka ni naomba mm-hmm. Mungu aniweke mahali at least niko nimefungua studio yangu mimi ningependa sana kusaidia wale wasanii bado wako chini mm-hmm. wale wa chini underground aezi record aezi fanya video vitu kama hizo at least anakuja pale kwangu na record na mfanya na mfanyia video na tunamuuza huko nje hiyo ndio kitu ni naomba Mungu na pia namuomba niweze kuika pia mimi nikuwe kama wale I see unaona so swali ya pili kwa saizi taekwondo inaniekea food kwa meza siwezi danganya cause watu wengi wanajua ndio imenipea kazi ndio imenifanya nifike mahali nimefika but now i've come into music because i know i'm talented into music and i know music will bring something and i'm very sure of that because i'm talented and i'm doing the right thing at the right time i say slash i watu nakupataje kwa mitandao ya kijamii watu uh, kutafuta kuzungumza na wewe na pia ningependa kujua kando na kukupata kwenye mitandao ya kijamii kwa mtu ambaye akufuati tu kimziki labda because of taekwondo anaweza pata classes kivipi wapi aje ah uh, mwanzo classes za taekwondo tuko na so many places za ku train unachukua tu nambari yangu ni 07036065677 Kenya nzima tuko na places hata ukiwa Tanzania tutakutuma mahali na utatrainiwa 
and then kimziki napatikana youtube slash i uh, tiktok slash i kila mahali fb slash i yeah next collab inakuja slash i na nani ama pia unafanya solo project kama uh, the other artist leo naona niko na wasanii ambao unajiamini sana kwenye yeah, yeah. solo project <laughs> for now <laughs> bado najiamini mimi peke yangu i see najiamini mpaka nifike mahali ninafikiria nataka kufika mm-hmm. ndo maybe nitafuta collab okay Steve Mgenge anasema watching the show anasema kutokea wapi lakini no worries uh, count me in for Mero anaitwa Mwitsa uh, Wastima alafu namuona DJ Risha anasema fanya mambo yako cost DJs kama kawaida ana request kaveve kazoze nadhani DJ amesikia hiyo anaitwa DJ Jerry Joe alafu pia namuona Emma Palak Wanja anasema count me in from Embu ila kwa sasa ningependa msanii wangu aweze kuperform aje enjoy na pia aweze kuperform kwa mtu wewe ambaye unatazama show right now kama kawaida anaenda kwa jina slash shy. Advice gani ungependa kuambia kijana aweze kufika mahali ambapo ulipo, ulipofika? Ah uh, ningependa kuambia vijana wote hard work pays. Mm-hmm. Usilale, amka mapema, fanya kitu unaona inaweza leta kitu. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do the right thing at the right time. And make sure you are the right, at the right place at the right time. Yeah. Kama kawaida just like you you are at the right place watching the right show at the right time every friday from 6 pm to 8 pm kwa sasa msani wangu anataka ajiachie aweze kuperform alafu tukirudi taweza kuzungumza na dj jerry jo pia tuambie ana yake ama ana lipi ametuletea kwenye tano kali kama kawaida i be collect whatever you are enjoy yourself we are here to represent you i say slash i fanya ile kitu i'll see you <laughs>